Hi, I'm Kevin, and I don't know what I'm doing. Good thing Ryan's behind the camera, and he does know what he's doing. This is The Bot, your weekly hookup for what's happening in Tampa Bay this weekend. Of course, we start where we always start with five reasons for you to get off the couch, even if it is as hot as the seventh circle of hell outside. New Orleans band Bonorama, thus named because of the trombones they have in their band, are coming to Skipper Smokehouse on Friday night. Tickets are $15. This is a very interesting band. They play cool versions of like Led Zeppelin's The Ocean and The Beatles. Helta Skelta. The Florida Aquarium is usually where you go to see fish, but not this Saturday night. It's the Suds Fest 2008 where they are going to have 40 different brands of Anheuser-Busch products. I think you know what we're talking about here. Go at seven o'clock. Tickets are going to be $45. Every year, Stu Robinson, who's a uh, DJ on 95.7 The Beat, holds his uh, annual father-daughter dance called The Queen in the Making. It's happening this Sunday at the Alfonso Conference and Banquet Center. It's from 4 to 7. Tickets are $20, and all that goes to charity. The 16th annual Tampa Bay Caribbean Carnival comes to Vinoy Park in St. Petersburg Saturday and Sunday. There'll be music and there'll be food from the islands. Tickets start at $10. Number one. The True Colors Tour comes to Ruth Eckert Hall on Wednesday night. It's a pretty good lineup. You got Cindy Lauper, you got the B-52s, you got Rosie O'Donnell, and you got that guy from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. What's his name? Carson Cressley. Carson Cressley, that's right. Tickets start at $85. Okay, you and I both know that the 2003 version of Hulk, directed by Ang Lee, not good. But I just saw the new version with Ed Norton as Bruce Banner. And you know what? This one gets it. The Hulk was a comic and was a television show and should be a movie basically about a giant green guy who smashes stuff. That happens a lot in this movie. Fanboys are going to go nuts. There's also references to the comic. There are appearances by Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby, or at least a video clip of Bill Bixby. And there are also uh, it's a surprise guest star at the end of the movie from another hit summer movie. You may know what I'm talking about, which lets us know that there's going to be more of these movies. All in all, I thought it was going to be terrible. It wasn't. I give it two and a half sprockets. Have you ever been to Fashion Week at Bryant Park? Well, this Saturday, Tampa will get its own version during Imagine 2008. The International Academy of Design and Technology's annual fashion show will feature models shimmying down the catwalk and everything ranging from casual wear to bridal wear to swimwear. This is a must-see show. And this year, the finale will feature the Red Dress Collection. Students were inspired to create red dresses based on survivor stories. And at the same time, they will bring attention to the number one threat to women, heart disease. So don't forget this Saturday at 7, Imagine 2008. We'll see you there. Well, that's the show. Thanks for coming by. Come back next week and we'll do this all over again. And now, here's your weekly entertainment news wrap up. Well, it's a brand new baby girl for Tori Spelling and her bow. It's the best thing on her resume since 90210. And the writer strikes sent shockwaves still affecting us today. Peter Brady, tightrope walker, what else can I say? We hope that you've enjoyed the show. It's B-O-T on TBO. Man, I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the side.